What a Cambridge degree in history of art gives you is you become a member of a fantastically vibrant, very close-knit community. You have access to extraordinary resources, visual resources, library collections, expertise in our department, but also more broadly, if necessary. I think you get a real sense of the ambition of the discipline, of the many different ways in which art historians function and how they think and how they might work. We're never, ever complacent about the fact we're in Cambridge, so there aren't many better places to be an art historian than Cambridge. In Cambridge, we have the unique opportunity to actually handle the objects that are all around us. We have a vast collection in Kettle's Yard, in the Fitzwilliam Museum, and in college collections as well. So this is Kettle's Yard, and it was founded in 1957 by a man called Jim Ede. And Jim Ede collected modern art. It was really contemporary art of his time, but now we know it as some of the leading British modernist artists. So with the students at Cambridge, they have lots of their lessons here. They're able to look at the objects in the house and really think about object-based study. Just behind you there on the uh, pewter plate is a lovely lemon which is replaced every week. And Jim Ede very specifically placed it there to provide some sort of juxtaposition with this splash of yellow in the painting. So he wasn't just thinking about where he should hang this work, but he was thinking about this whole space as one. Our students revel in the opportunity to think and talk and write about works of art and architecture with world-class specialists in their field. Everybody who comes in here as they come in does the same thing, which is they come in and they look up straight away. This is a spectacularly tall building and it's incredibly long. And this building is very famous for its extraordinary stained glass. We have a complete range of stained glass from the mid 16th century and it gives the light in here this very mellow, dappled, kind of spiritual quality. Well, Cambridge is not just a collection of sort of dry, dead objects in some museum somewhere. It is a living, breathing community of scholars who are actively engaged in producing new things. There is new artistic patronage going on all the time. New sculptures are being produced, new architectural projects are being planned. It really is very much a happening place for the history of art. The thing that makes it unique compared to every other subject is that you get to go and look at the stuff that you study. Here you get to come and visit these extraordinary buildings, you get to see the works of art we're studying. When you have such abundant resources and collections, using them for this is it's wonderful. The combination of compulsory courses that we run together with the optional courses means students really can go into the Museum of Archaeology and Anthropology, regularly into the Fitzwilliam, as well into all sorts of buildings and other collections in Cambridge, to have hands-on experience of what they're thinking about and what they're writing about.